In the movie Frankenstein, there is a scene in which lightning strikes to bring a corpse back to life. Thunderbolt and corpse and the scientists excited to see them are the old cliche of the mad scientist. Where did the idea that electricity can make a corpse come back to life? This scene was made with the motive from an actual historical experiment. In the 1780s, Italian anatomy professor Galvani was experimenting with static electricity with his students. And beside him, Lucia of Galvani's wife was making frog suit for health. And the frog's hind legs on the metal plates only wriggled. The wife was surprised, but as a scientist's wife, she observed and discovered that the frog's legs moved whenever a spark is fired from the electrostatic machine. And she told this to Galvani. Intrigued by this, Galvani experimented with static electricity all over the frog's body. For further experimentation, he hung a frog on a metal railing on a balcony. And whenever there was a dark cloud or lightning, the frog twitched as if it were alive. Galvani initially thought that an electricity current in the atmosphere affected the frog, but he found that placing two metals on the frog's body caused the frog's legs to wriggle without external electricity. Thus, Galvani concluded that there is something called animal electricity, the electricity generated by the body of animals, but on this theory, his friend Volta. Galvani ya Google Haba. Ah. Do. Heba. Polizi. Don't know the Shinchesu nan jong iga sang sang dub nida. This completely ruins their friendship when he saw that touching a frog with only one type of metal didn't cause convulsions. He argued that the frog only works as a medium between the metal, not generating electricity. Volta proves that electricity can be generated without frogs by putting copper and zinc and an electrolyte in between. The first battery voltaic pile was created. People laughed at Galvani, calling him Frog's dance teacher. And Galvani lived a poor old life in a world where even his wife passed away. But he couldn't give up his faith in animal electricity. Today, as the working principle of nerves, neurons of the brain and muscles has been revealed, it is known that electricity is actually being made in our body. And that explained that Galvani's theory was not completely wrong. And cardio pacemaker was invented with the idea of Galvani, which fixes the dissonance of heartbeat, and that invention saved a lot of people. But back there then, Galvani's theory was totally considered the pseudoscience. Volta, on the other hand, was awarded Copley Medal at the Royal Society England, and was awarded the medal and became the heir for conducting electrical experiments in front of Napoleon. And after his death, he still enjoys great honors as a scientist, as the word Volt, named after his name Volta, is still in use as the unit of voltage. But Galvani of today, there is Galvani's game message machine named after him, which is still ridiculed for a being a pseudoscience. Volta's best wishes to the many frogs, these two scientists do the May fall into victim in the spade.